Let's start the third place playoff games. Ladies first. Kim holding the yellow already stamped authority over Marvely Neblet by taking the first game 21-17. And in the second was even in a more dominant position. That point nicely driven down the lane to put her up 17-4. to Holder last year's champion wanted to still keep in on the money and using her low cut shots was doing enough to frustrate Neblet and force the errors that equated to points. 19-7 now, two points away. Neblet has some good shots despite on her way to a sow. This was actually the last point she would claim in the match. Nicely timed and placed, leaving Holder floored. But Holder has some shots she pulls out of her back pocket. And this drop shot took her to game and match point. It was sweetly executed. Neblet serves. Holder picks it up. But on the return, Neblet hits into the net. And that's it. Kim Holder, last year's champion, this year takes the third place. Winning in straight games. The last one won at 21 to 8. The men play the best of five games. This was the third place match between Davian Forsrike Taylor here in the white and Antonio Lilman Daniel. This was the fourth game after Daniel won the first 21 8, Taylor the second 21 19, and Daniel the third 21 10. So Daniel knew he needed to shut it down here to get to that $10,000 third place prize. He serves being up 11-4, and despite the quick returns, was able to send this one down the line to add another to his points tally. Daniel, known for his stylish lethal shots, was taking no prisoners and inflicting a massacre on Taylor, and delivered just what he's known for. Oh yes, Taylor, you just had no response. And Taylor, who had used up all his appeals, was just falling further and further behind, but Daniel kept killing it at every turn. And the crowd was begging for Daniel to deliver some of his signature shots. And he sure did not disappoint. I bet you thought he was going for the kill. Oh, no, he switched it up for the soft drop shot. Now, that is class. Time to put Taylor out of his misery. And Daniel, who's actually his sparring partner, teased him before finishing off the soul. Taylor hits into the net. And Tony Loma Daniel takes third place. The final game he took at 21 to 8. Time now to crown a women's national champion and Sheldon Waldron had already declared that the crown would be hers, taking the first game at 21-18. And in the second, Modern Blunt had fallen behind, although delivering some beautiful shots once the opportunities came. Waldron, who was run up in 2022, meant that 2023 had to be her year. And while Blunt, who has worked so hard to improve her game, was really putting up a fight, Waldron, the more experienced player, showed just why. The nice cross-court shot on this point. The ladies have some long rallies in the mix. You pick up this one with quite a few exchanges. And just in time to see Waldron guide it sweetly down the line to put an end to the back and forth and inch closer to the victory. That put her on 17 to Blunt's 9. The very next play, she showed her class yet again while having a response for every play Blunt sent her way. She just baited the moment to up the ante. Blunt goes for the kill, but instead it skies and watch as Waldron comes to the net and smashes it. So let's wrap it up. This is where Waldron State claim to the national ladies title. She serves. Blunt returns. One more exchange. Before Blunt had no response, Sheldon Waldron claimed the title that eluded her last year. Let's salute the Coast Guard officer who now has the rank of Women's Barbados Royal Tennis Open Champion 2023. And the number one and two seeds battle for the men's title, with the number one Mark Venom Griffith and Shaquem Nurse in a rematch of last year's final. Reigning champion Griffith took the first two games at 21-18, so Nurse knew this third was crucial, and he picked up Griffith's serve. The gym was quiet as these two had some lengthy exchanges before either someone faltered or found the opening. This time Griffith goes into the net to Nurse's advantage. What this final serve that was rallies galore. The core of Griffith's style of play and Nurse, knowing his opponent, clearly came in looking to match the energy. And when the youngster got it right, you sure bet he would strike. Nurse then caught a groove and came back into the game in a big way. Nicely delivered. Griffith up 19 to 18 and looking for the two points to sew things up. Thought he was in control, but Nurse had a lethal injection and it was now 19 all. But what Griffith has is being calm in the midst of the storm to nurse who deshelves just a bit. And sure enough, Griffith brought it to game and championship point. And this is where he won it in the most anticlimactic of ways. The call comes for out, but he challenges it. 
and the third umpire is called in. And the ball is adjudged as in. The deal is sealed. Mark Venom Griffith keeps the title of best male world tennis player in BIM as he retains the Barbados World Tennis Open men's title.